What's up weirdos? You know that vibe when you get a bunch of ghost hunting equipment and a friend and then go to a notoriously haunted cemetery in the middle of the night and then literally lose your sanity? Cause I did not. I've never done anything like that cause that's stupid, but I have a YouTube channel and I thought, hey, it's Halloween time, baby. So I just wanted to let you know that everything you're about to see is real. I didn't manipulate any of the audio. Like this is actual footage I, and I'll let you be the judge of if it's, you know, something. All I know is that I'm a very skeptical person. I don't really believe in ghosts, but when I was there, <laughs> it's uh, we, we got some stuff. We, 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 we got some stuff. But let's cut to the footage of me in the car outside of the notoriously, I can't emphasize this enough, like infamously haunted cemetery. And let me set the stage for the video. God. Okay, so the spot that we're at right now yeah. is right before the cemetery. The reason that I wanted to make a video about the demonic cemetery and Demon's Road, I don't believe in ghosts. Me neither. I don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> it's a stick. I did have like a, a experience when I was here. Cool. I'm not scared. I've never been scared in my life. Because if I wanted to make a ghost hunting video, I wanted to go back to the source of where it all started. Oh, God. <laughs> if that's not a movie line, <laughs> cut to title. Pretty cool intro. Are you hooked? Are you excited? Anyways, the personal experience that I had there that I just mentioned is that when I was a freshman in university, I was hanging out with a bunch of my friends. And listen, you put a group full of guys at university together, and then you say that like a 15 minute drive away is one of the most haunted places in America. You can't blame a couple boys for getting up to no good. So I hopped in a truck with my friends in Huntsville, Texas, and drove down Demons Road, which led to Martha Chapel Cemetery. And we didn't even make it to the cemetery, which is what this video is investigating. But on the road itself, it got so bad that I had to like say, hey guys, can we like go back? I'm not superstitious. Listen, again, I'm not superstitious, but I know that an owl is a sign of like bad things. To, like it's a bad omen. And I saw three owls and each time that I saw an owl on a fence post on Demon's Road, I saw it, I noticed it. And then I noticed that there were like spider webs on my body. And again, 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 I, I know, I know. Chances are I had just walked through a spider web at some point and I like brushed my hair at some point in the car and then had cobwebs on me, of course. But I'm telling you, when you see three owls in a row, specifically when you get onto a notoriously haunted demonic road, and then you're like, oh, there's, there's spider webs on me right now? A thing that doesn't ever happen any other time. It scared the bejeebies out of me and we never even made it to the cemetery. We just turned around and went home. So I told this to my friend, Benny J, who is just an icon. Just, you're gonna love him in this video. And when I said that, he did have a good point. Cause my thing is I'm black. Exactly. And me being the good friend that I am, not wanting him to get possessed by a demon and then, you know, haunted for the rest of his life and maybe his entire bloodline, I decided that to make things fair, I should give him something for his sacrifice. <laughs> to sweeten the deal, I got you something. Not that I, not that I, not that I care, <laughs> not that you're my friend, not that I'm grateful. Loki, I'm more worried about what he got me <laughs> than the ghost. Cause Coop is a wild card. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a gun. I would never shoot you. Weirdo shirt, you already know. With the necklace. With the necklace. Like, not plastic. Real pearls. Get these at uh, weirdothings.com, ain't it? Oh yeah, by the way, I guess this is the official announcement. The October 2023 Weirdo Things necklace collection is out. They're really great. I'm really proud of these necklaces. Here are the five new ones. They're made of real pearls, real stones. They're wonderful. They're amazing. I wear them all the time. They're high quality. You can feel the quality. Like they genuinely are great. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I posted something in a something something. That's like also benefiting me because I get to talk about it right now to actually make it worth his while. To be, you know, potentially possessed forever. I got him Jordans. <laughs> Coop, bro, nah, you real for this, bro. Nah, you, Coop, Coop, nah, you a real one, my boy. Not the Wakanda in purple. <laughs> Makes it almost worth getting murdered by Doom. <laughs> and that's on being a good friend who listens to what their other friends want, because that, that hit harder than I thought it was going to hit. Anyways, we packed up, and then we went to the demonic cemetery. For some context, the road that leads up to the cemetery is called Bowden Road, but it's known by everybody in the local area as Demon Road. And because I went to the university there and was like, you know, in the community, I knew that this isn't something that's like a, oh, it's a haunted place, ah, let's go. Ah. The locals of Huntsville, Texas avoid that place and they warn anybody who says that they might go there. If you tell somebody, hey, I'm thinking about going to Demon's Road, do you wanna go? You will be met with icy looks of like, don't. They'll tell you not to provoke the ghosts because they've been known to follow people home, which is advice I, did not follow. Fuck you! There's also people with crazy stories there. Like there's somebody who said that a hand came out of a grave and tried to grasp and pull somebody down. Now that sounds like hogwash. From my opinion, my perspective, that sounds like hogwash, but it's not something you want to think about when you're in a terrified state of mind walking by graves. You know what I mean? And locals will also tell you that the KKK holds rituals there. And 
This is something that Ben was aware of. I'm not just bringing a black guy to like a KKK ritual ground. And that's also something that's like heavily contested and very much like kind of just, you know, I would believe it, it's Texas and it's not Houston, Texas. It's like like outside of Houston. But it's one of those things that the vibe of it is like, are you just saying that to have an actual excuse for not going there when you're actually just scared because of ghosts? I, I'm, I'm not, it's just, it's not a conclusive thing that like, you know, there's not a KKK board that people are like, meet at the demonic cemetery, bring your freshest linens. Like, that's not what the vibe is. But it was also something that was on our mind and, you know, scary. <laughs> but anyways, let's get to the meat of the video where I stand steadfast, unafraid in the face of certain danger. I don't ever want to film another ghost hunting video ever again. I'm so scared, right? I believe in ghosts more than I've ever believed in anything in my nah, entire life. Nah, I, I, what, what Harrison Ford say? It's all poppycock. Can't nobody touch me. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. <laughs> I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the demonic cemetery that is like notorious around here that everybody talks about. So the vibe right now is that I've got this EMF detector which detects electromagnetic fields, which if you believe in ghosts, which I do right now, <laughs> Apparently ghosts can manipulate electromagnetic fields and cause this to, you know, flicker and flash. So I want to walk around, just get a preliminary sweep of the cemetery with all the demons and see what's most active. And that's where we're going to further the investigation. The first place that I want to go is there's a tree in the very middle where people say they see a little girl. Yikes. And the little girl like, it's like, hey. Come play. Who's the little girl supposed to be? Do you know? Is it somebody like daughter or somebody cousin? The thing with the little... There wasn't anything over there. I was just because I'm, you know, scared. But to talk about the little girl, this is a picture that was taken not by a person that was like potentially manipulated by Google Maps on their street view. Yeah, that that's like a little girl behind a tree. That's a little girl. And it's scary because there's a lot of stories about people seeing a little girl like giggling and laughing and saying, come play, come play. Like that is a story that happens a lot around uh, the cemetery. But this is so a little girl behind a tree that it's either conclusive evidence of a ghost or there's just a girl hiding behind a tree. But there's nobody else in the picture and there's like, uh, it's scary. Nobody knows who that little girl is. So we decided that, yeah, we should go provoke that demon the thing with the little girl is that a lot of the times if you believe in ghosts which i do right now <laughs> demons disguise themselves as things that are innocent so that you will trust them and then they can possess you mm. are you did you see that did you see this going crazy dude did you you saw that right it just <laughs> went all the way to red i've never seen it go to red i've put this next to my computer with an external monitor, electromagnetic fields, and it's only gone to the middle one. Okay, let's keep going. I'm gonna get my flashlight so that you guys can see the background a little bit better. Oh yeah, there you go. Dude. Hey yo, that, is that a crypt? Dude, what kind of, what kind, what kind of language is that? <laughs> Have you been reading recently? <laughs> and the thing is, to be clear, I want to be respectful of like the yeah, people right. who have passed here because these are like, these are real people. They, you know, they're just buried in a location. Right. They had nothing to do with them. Really, if demons are real, the scary thing is that there's demons around like all of these people who've passed on. Right. And we're not scared of the people who've passed on. Right. Although if I saw one, I'd be terrified. <laughs> right. I'm hearing a lot of stuff over there and this was lighting up like crazy. I say we just go ahead and get to it and but like, Try to do the spirit box over there. You, what, what, what? I don't know. I'm not what, scared. What? I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I don't know. Roll the footage. So this right here is called a spirit box. This sound that it's making right now, it's, 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 I'm terrified. It scans through radio stations really quickly. And the, the thing, the thing that ghost believers say is that a ghost can speak to you through it because if you hear a word that means it was spoken over multiple radio stations so it's not like you picked up a word it's you know multiple different places that shouldn't be able to add up to a word mm. so if it's a word it's like a, a ghost, ghost. <laughs> what ghosts be saying what's their favorite word they're just asking where the hose at <laughs> <laughs> like why is it always dude ghost hunters <laughs> which by the way why is it always dude ghost hunters <laughs> Because we're the only ones dumb enough to do something like this. Well. Girls have better sense. 
the world should be a matriarchy. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, can you see me in the night vision? You look like a raccoon. <laughs> so, y'all can see right now, but it's pitch black from yeah. our point of view. Yeah. This is a infrared light. Cut to me giving a demonstration in the real world. <laughs> First of all, watch your tone past me. I'm not your little errand boy, but I, I will show you. Okay, so here is the night vision camera, and here is like my night vision light that we had mounted on this so you can see my face. So if I turn this light off, and then also all of these lights, but you can see right here, just from the little bit of light from my laptop, my face is bright as hell. Now watch what happens when I turn this on. Okay, you see that? You see that? Like that's, that's crazy, but then also, do you see what I mean? 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 So on, on, on this camera, dark, on this camera, bright. Now, can you just go get the ghosts already? It's yeah, light. it's going crazy. Okay, because, yeah, I can't see it at all. Yeah, yeah, no, that's crazy. No, that's crazy. Isn't that nuts? Because I can't see that right now. Unironically, science is like dope as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking scared right now. Sorry for cussing. <laughs> this is the most active place in this cemetery. So we're gonna use the spirit box here and I don't believe in ghosts. Me neither. So it's gonna be fine, but I'm gonna ask questions. Are there any demons with us right now? I heard are there. If there is a demon here, what's your name? Okay, you know what? I'm not. I'm, I'm not scared. I'm not. Every time I talk a little, blue sounds. You know what? The other thing that people say is here is this is Martha Chapel Cemetery. Okay, let me cut in here for a second because the spirit box while I'm talking is so annoying, and I promise I don't do it for the rest of the video. Basically, what I wanted to do here is to give an introduction for Ben and I to Martha, like the 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 ghost. I don't know Martha's Chapel Cemetery. There's not a lot online about who Martha is, like at all. But it's you know Martha's Chapel Cemetery. Surely Martha's somebody. So that was the vibe. Set the stage. Be respectful of the ghosts, and make it clear that we're after the demons, not the ghosts. Because, you know, there's a difference? There is, if you believe in ghosts. Which I do in this video, but I don't right now. But I kind of do. But I didn't. But here I- Let's introduce ourselves. My name's Cooper. This is... Butt Soup. <laughs> it's Cooper and Butt Soup. Because <laughs> we said we were going to be respectful. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. It's Mr. Butt Soup. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear it say hello? Yeah, I heard that. Now that's crazy. Okay, okay, but we gotta ask specific questions here. I heard brother. Yeah? Brother? Is it Martha's brother here? Martha's brother? Is the whole family buried here? I heard yes and then something else. Are you happy that... I heard leave? Oh, nah, cool. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to be here right now. I believe in ghosts. I believe in ghosts. I believe in ghosts. Wait, am I speaking to Martha or am I speak? I heard yes. Okay, real quick, let's roll that back. I do not hear yes. Or am I, I did at the time, but reviewing this footage, like, or am I, or am I, or am I, that's not a yes. I was just really scared right then. And I want to make sure that I'm not, you know, BSing you. At best, honestly, I could have heard a no out of that. Or am I, but realistically, I heard. Or am I, so, you know, straighten up, Cooper. Get back to it. Let the record reflect. We rock with Martha on round these parts. We genuinely rock with Martha, and his name is not Mr. Butt Soup. <laughs> he was doing a gag because we're, you know, we're, 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 we're here. But his name is Benjamin Jefferson. How do you... How, uh, nice and if you're going to go home with any of us, go home with Benjamin Jefferson. <laughs> Say yes, if that's true. I heard no. Like, immediately when I said that. Did you... <laughs> when, when the homie has no game? <laughs> not even with demons? <laughs> okay, you know what? I heard done. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? If you're done, Martha, that's great. I would like to speak to the demons who were here. Right. That's who we're after. Martha, I heard okay. I heard go. Well. I don't want to be here, Ben. I don't want to be here, Ben. <laughs> go away. Yeah, where do you want us to go? You're scared of that. It's just like, I just hear yelling. Okay, you can yell all you want, but it's literally like, I'm not going to be terrified. It's just, I can do that too. I'm hearing, I'm, I'm only hearing like, yeah, <laughs> but it's like, it's like melodic. It's almost like singing. My vibe is, mm -hmm. do we, okay, I'm going to turn off the spirit box. We'll switch cameras because I think that we need to be a little bit more, what could, we need to make a more conducive 
we need to make an environment where the demons are more willing to talk. Right. So I think speaking to them on their level, which they've been singing a little bit, in my opinion. Not right. that I believe in ghosts. <laughs> right, right. Martha, honestly, Martha and her family, low key. Kind of a vibe. Kind of a vibe. <laughs> my thing is because it felt like a lot of the things were like very musical mm -hmm. when I was talking to the demon, I think that I need to sing it a song. <laughs> Coop. I think I'm gonna sing a song to the demon. Oh my god. And let it know that we're we're welcoming it. Oh my god. So in my opinion, a <laughs> droning tone is kind of what ghosts are into. <laughs> demon possess Benjo. Hey yo! <laughs> demon of the tree. If I had some water that was blessed by the Pope, I'd kill you. What you gonna do? I think we've antagonized it in the <laughs> <laughs> Bro, poking bears. Don't clip that. I thought I was gonna die. Like in real life, that was my reaction if I'm about to die. Because that was me thinking I was gonna die. Now let's go fuck with this demon. I just heard I hear you. Oh my god. Did you like the song? Demon, are you willing to talk to us now? That was too short. It felt like yeah. Hey, I don't know. <clears throat> what's a good? What's a, what? What is the question? What's a line of questioning? If you're a detective. Um. Uh, not a graveyard. I heard it say no, not a graveyard, and way too long for it to. <laughs> like that's like eight radio stations. Come here, or something. Drive on. <laughs> Are you? So, so, so we're beefing right now. What's your name, demon? I heard it say, what's the problem? But I cannot believe I missed that on the day. I cannot believe, that was one of the clearest, like, what is it, spirit box words? <laughs> this is the clearest ones that I've heard the entire time to this point. Reviewing this footage, it is so clear to me that that's the word that it was, which is, you know, I, I, I'll get demonetized, but hopefully the ghost is allowed to say it. You know, like 100% I heard what's down here. While I'm reviewing this footage, that, there's that's what that is. And 1000% I heard that second thing, which is insane because later in the video, this is a reoccurring thing that the ghost is talking about. Anyways, uh, yeah, back to the investigation. It's so scary. Tell me what your name is <laughs> demon, so that I can address you as a demon. I heard warlock. I heard warlock. I'm gonna have to listen to back to that one on playback. Yeah, on playback, that is insane. And again, I'm not somebody who believes in ghosts. I mean, in this video while I'm there, I definitely was because I was terrified. And also hearing words back from the ghost, but on playback, that's so clearly you just gotta move on. I hope you understand. I hope you've seen other ghost hunting videos where it's like they might get a word or two in the whole thing. This is so much activity. I was losing my mind. And to get an entire sentence, like that's so many different radio stations that it has to skip through. For that entire sentence to be like that clear and also that topical, it's really actually like crazy. And what if I told you it, it's like it's wilder? Can you wait for me to stop talking before you say anything? I heard animal. Dude, okay, I gotta stop. I gotta stop this for a second. Every time it goes, is it switching to a new radio station? When it says animal. That's three different radio stations. So its name is Animal? Like the Muppet? Like the Muppet? <laughs> so it wants some drums. And I'm drumming for you, Animal. And you're gonna die tonight. Oh, turn your light off, turn your light off. Just get down so they can't see the light. I don't, I mean, obviously that's a person. There's not, like Animal the demon isn't riding a motorcycle. <laughs> unless. <laughs> unless. Dude, imagine we're sitting right here and this just goes. <laughs> okay, so that tree 
has a demon named Animal, and I feel like we've threatened it enough. Yeah, but that's not even my. That's not even why we came here. Why am I antagonizing it? I was literally just here to hang out and like film a video, and it's like, oh, we're ghost hunting. But that was, by the way, a lot of activity. Not to toot this video's own horn. That's so much activity. Yeah, bro had a whole correspondence. I had a correspondence with Martha and Animal. The thing about Animal, it felt like it said Animal and then like Animal again. Mm -hmm. Like one right after the other. That's so many radio stations for it to go through. It, I, like, I don't believe in ghosts. I don't, <laughs> it's like, I don't believe in them. Let's get out the EMF detector and go looking for another location with another demon because I don't want to give all the clout to Animal. Right. You know, little bitch. <laughs> I hope you can hear that on the mics. What? Wind exists. Wind exists. What am I expect? Oh, that's conclusive evidence of the demon. The wind blew through the trees. I'm literally so fucking scared right now. <sighs> it's a stick. <laughs> oh, okay, let's get going. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn my EMF detector on. Is this cinematic? Is this cinematic as hell? Mm-hmm. Stranger Things type beat is what I would say if I'd seen Stranger Things. <laughs> you would love Nancy. <laughs> let's go to the forest line over here because that's where apparently there's a lot of activity. A lot of people see um, like that little girl playing at the edge of the woods. Yeah, we're going to the area now where a lot of other stories about the little girl uh, playing, uh, where they where they originate from. And the tree that we were just at, like that's the one where there was the girl in the Google Maps picture, which is like, a, that's, a, that's terrifying. But then like word of mouth stories from actual locals and people, a lot of the time it's on like the edge of the woods where there's a little girl like trying to beckon people to go into the woods which is scary as hell. But luckily we have sense and we were like, oh, let's let's not go do that. Let's turn around. Let's not be crazy, right? What's that? No, 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 no. Can you zoom in on that so I don't have to walk closer to it? <laughs> do you see that? Like, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh my God, and there's a helicopter? What the hell is going on right now? My light just turned off. <laughs> I, I don't... Okay, it's back. Nah, that's crazy as hey. Oh, how great would it be if it just lit up at all? <laughs> that's not like a grave or anything. That's just two little toys on the edge of the woods where the little girl is. We try to talk to the uh, the demon the demon who's the girl over here. We go stand in that spot? Yeah. And be careful about this, because I don't know what this is. Like that's not a grave. Right. But I want to be respectful just in case it's like meaningful to somebody. Right. Because I don't think a ghost made those, you know what I mean? Right. Uh, you ever seen, y'all ever seen uh, Man vs. Wild and the camera ha man has to follow Bear? <laughs> and Bear goes out like this. <laughs> All right, on the edge of the woods. <laughs> I'm gonna have to drink my own piss. <laughs> and the cameraman is like, Bear, no. I was like, I have water. <laughs> Are there any demons over here? I heard, oh my, pause, God. I don't, I don't want to bullshit. I'm hearing like, yes, but I'm not asking any questions. Okay, are we welcome here? <laughs> who's that? It said, who's that? That's Benjamin Jefferson. What's good with you? It said mother. <laughs> <laughs> it's Benjamin Jefferson. And Cooper Nidecker, AKA mother and baby girl. <laughs> Please refer to us as <laughs> Here's a question. Do you support gay rights? <laughs> Silence is the same as rejection. Do you support gay rights? Well... I'm not liking the silence. Really? Imagine I never moved again. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch McConnell type beat. <laughs> Mitch McConnell. Bro really is a demon. <laughs> hey, the real demons road. Uh, isn't that Congress? <laughs> <laughs> is the crotch of that tree squirting right now? <laughs> Get a close up of that. It's squirting. Oh, wait. No, it is. No, 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 no. It is kind of wet. It me, 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 me when I spy. <laughs> cool. Nah, nah, cool. That's demonic. <laughs> Not this man just eating demon semen. <laughs> yeah, no, my biggest fear is like a fresh grave or like stumbling upon a hole or something. I haven't told this to you because there is a story about a fresh grave and a hand sticking out of it and grabbing somebody. Nope. 
which people, but people talk like that's so much. Like, really, really. <laughs> that's where I draw the line. I'm not dealing with any graves, any hands. Nope. Anything that could touch me. Yo, I went to the demonic cemetery and I got stroked off. <laughs> that's a great title and thumbnail. I got stroked off at the demonic cemetery. <laughs> I got, I busted at the demonic cemetery. <laughs> what do they call when you, after you get married? Sex. Uh, C consummation? Oh yeah, consummating. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Something about we consummated at. <laughs> we? Who? Who's we? <laughs> who's we? <laughs> Did I stutter? <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Do you support gay rights? I heard. Eh. Okay, simple question. What's your name? What do you want us to call you? Okay, all jokes aside, that is the most convincing evidence we've got from the EMF detector yet. Because there's no movement there. It's not like it's moving closer to electricity, even by a tiny amount. Like, it's all the way out here. I ask a question, and then it goes, bloop. But also, what's your name? Bloop. That's not an answer. That aside, though, that's... You know, that's wild. Get back to it. My name is Cooper. That is Benny J. Can you repeat one of our names back to us? I love you? <laughs> it just said, I said, I love you. And then I said, I love you. And it said, I'm sorry. What are you sorry about? Love is love. Are you, are you a man demon? Are you a demon man? Are you a demon girl? Yeah. I fully heard. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that too. What the hell was that Morgan Wallen ass? <laughs> Maybe she's a country girl. Are you a country demon girl? Demon girl, are you a country girl? Wait a second. This is the one next to the, it's the this tree. You get her wet? Listen, I'm not interested in a demon country girl. <laughs> what Cardi B say? <laughs> Something about a macaroni pot? <laughs> Something about... <gasps> That's a good idea. Okay, okay, do we, you do Cardi's verse, I'll do Megan's verse. <laughs> yeah, Lala, I'm a freak bitch. Handcuffs, freak <laughs> shit. Switch my wig, make him feel like, like he cheated. Put him on his knees, give him something to believe in. Never lost a fight, but I'm looking for a beat. On the oh, gold, gold chain, I'm the one that eats you. If you ate my ass, he's a, a bottom, bottom feeder. feeder. <laughs> Big D says for big demeanor, I could make you bust before I ever meet you. If it don't hang, then he can't bang. Can't hurt my feelings, but I like pain. If he fucked me, ask, ask whose is it? When I ride the dick, I'ma spell my name. name. Ah! Demon girl, did you like that? We're gonna have to listen to playback. I thought I heard work it. Uh, yeah, on playback, I am just as convinced that she 100% said work it. Demon Girl thought I was slaying. If only Demon Girl could see my Instagram where I posted a picture that's kind of insane. Too bad Demon Girl doesn't even have Instagram, probably. Too bad Demon Girl probably doesn't even follow me even on Instagram, but you're not a Demon Girl, so you could. Are you willing to give Cardi's verse? No. <laughs> for Demon Girl, for Demon Girl. I do a Kegel while it's inside, you know what I'm not? Come take a ride. Do you like me or Benny J? Yo, it just said me. I heard it say me. I don't know, bro. I heard it say me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, the, the rest of the video is just going, I heard it say I me. I heard it say me. That said me, from my, but it was talking to me when it said me. Yeah. I think it's because I was touching the, touching the tree all inappropriate. Like, are trees demons? No, that's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know how some people's biggest fear is clowns and stuff? Yeah. My biggest fear has always been dead bodies on God. Like, if I go to a funeral, even if you died right now, I'm, if I'm going to your funeral, I'm not going up to the casket. I'm avoiding the body at all costs. Like, I don't yeah. rock with dead bodies. I don't rock with dead bodies on God. Yeah. Like, 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 anytime I go to a funeral, I have nightmares for like weeks. I mean, you can ask my parents, I used to freak out on God. Smash cut to me, interview with your parents. <laughs> if I'm you watching the video, I'm thinking, just go back to the place where there was the most activity, like at the beginning of the tree, like go back there. Right. And I hate it when ghost hunters are just like, oh, well, we were basically seeing a demon and then we looked at four other places with like <laughs> mid activity. <laughs> like, no, we're gonna go back there. And then after that, I'll take you to the fence post where I saw the owl. I'll hold this again just because, were you rolling? Mm -hmm. Did you see it? I had it turned, it went up to this one. Mm -hmm. Dude, this tree is fucked. Me as a man. Yo, this is fucked. <laughs> this tree is so fucked. Let's go back to the one where the demon girl is trying to give us dome. Give me dome. My mom right now, you're using comedy as a coping mechanism. <laughs> shout out, shout out Miss Nidecker. God, I love my mom. She's so cool. And my dad. I love my dad too. I would just demon, aka animal, if that's even your real name. 
Marvel Cinematic Universe type dialogue. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> if you are still here, and if you are angry, let us know, animal. I heard like a, a begging, please. Is that you? Are you are you begging? Are you begging us to leave? I heard, dude, it's so much right now. I, th I thought that I heard it say leave. I heard it just say let's get it. There's more of us. I heard it say there's more of us. How many more of you are there? Could have been 17. That's a that's a, that's a sus one. That's I don't. Are there 17? Over or under 17? Say 18. It just said 18. It said little pig. Dude, this is scaring the shit. Like, I've been having fun ever since we left this tree. I'm scared again. Mm. Little pig? Are you calling me a little pig? You're a little pig. You're an animal. You're literally. I heard something say, please save us. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, because that's demon speak for get over here so that I can fucking possess you. If you are going to go home with any of us, please go home with Benny J. Hey, nah, nah. I think that's, I think that's fair. Or go home with me. Fuck, wait, go home with me, go home with me. If there's a demon here, go home with me. If there's the devil, go home with me. I'm not scared of you. Every time I talk, I hear it speaking. I'm gonna give you one last chance. If you have something specific that you want to say to me or to Benny J, say it now. Uh, I heard a woman's voice say, K-I-L-L -L yourself? I'm thinking- <laughs> It was the tree branching in. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go back to the car and let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, to, I'm, I'm good to get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. But before we left, I wanted to give the demons a final goodbye. A send-off of sorts, if you will. A destruction, really, by a holy water. <laughs> I didn't have a priest nearby, though, so I just had to settle for the next best thing. We still support gay marriage. We still support gay marriage. We still support gay rights. <laughs> gay rights. Gay rights. Gay rights. Tax I like rights. I like Barbie, and it's and it's not pick me to say that. I like Barbie. <laughs> I'm just Ken. So we left the cemetery with only one final stop, the fence post where I'd seen that owl all those years ago where it all started. And on the way out, I kept my cool. Demon girl? I'm not interested. I don't know how to say this any more clearly. I'm not interested, and fuck you! An animal? Fuck you! And any other demons? So we go to the fence post where I'd seen the owl. I talked about, you know, the three owls that I saw at the beginning of the video and the spider webs that coincided with each sighting. This is the fence post that had the third owl, the final one where I was like, uh, this is, can we just go? We can't see you, Coop, at all. Oh, uh, you want to turn the light on? Oh. <laughs> it's tricky. Us ghost hunting for the very first time. <laughs> Why were you warning me from going in the demon's cemetery the last time? Yeah, so we left. <laughs> that was an immediate, okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. And if I'm being honest, post this experience, me kind of like, you know, a month past this recording, I honestly, I, I don't really believe in ghosts. I kind of, I, I don't. But before filming this, I definitely didn't. And now it's like, logically, it's just, it's just not, it's just. But I think you can tell that while we were there, <laughs> I have never been more certain of anything in my entire life than there were demons around us right then. <laughs> and if you bring me back there, I am 100% thinking that there are demons around me. So I think that that's my skill as a ghost hunter. I'm gonna give you the real stuff. I'm gonna give you the straight facts of, come on. But that's not gonna rob you of the juice from the haunt. Cause, God, I'm a scaredy cat. But what about you? Like when you're watching this, what to you was the most convincing piece of evidence? <laughs> not me asking you to comment. I'm actually curious though, cause this is like a really exciting video for me to have made. And I wanna know what to you is like the things that stick out. Cause for me, it's definitely the talk of, you know, not being around anymore. Go 
by yourself, you know? Because the fact that it happened multiple times in the same location, like, to the demon that I antagonized, you know? But there's so much stuff in here that, I don't know, what to you, like, stuck out as the most convincing piece? Or, is it all Huey? And that's fine, you can say it's all Huey, I'm not gonna get my feelings hurt. I'll probably agree with you, but deep down, I'm terrified. Anyways, I love you so much. Thank you for watching these videos. And if you want to get these necklaces, if you like them, they're really high quality and I love them so much. So that, please, also please subscribe. <laughs> By the way, the entire time I've been filming this portion of it, I'm in my undies. I got a t-shirt on right here, but I'm in my undies. Because this is the middle of the night. When I say the middle of the night, I'm filming this at one in the morning, right before I post this video, because, because I've been doing things. Like I watched Killers of the Flower Moon today. Oh my, like, can I say I enjoyed it? I don't, I mean, ah, uh, ah. Uh, it was a 10 out of 10, but at what cost?